by Marketing Resource Management is um, a recognition of the importance to actually plan and strategize uh, your customer communications on a global scale. And the surprising element here has been that over the last year, the number of um, organizations that have embarked on an MRM only procurement exercise has just been phenomenal. And it's, it's taken us by surprise because um, if we look at this, you know, customer experiences are only 20% system based, the other 80% requires a well thought out strategy. So I think that uh, uh, many organizations, as they evolve their um, you know, platforms to engage with their customers always on, um, they've got execution capability in place. They've got the ability to be able to market, interact with their customers. Uh, they've got the ability to do that in an automated fashion. But I think what's happening now is that there's a realization that uh, an effective customer engagement is enhanced exponentially if it's off the back of a strategy, if it's off the back of a plan. And that's typically what marketing resource management delivers. It was deemed to be a luxury, I think, in the past, and hence the reason why organizations you know, have invested in just Excel sheets to actually uh, uh, provide you know, that, that, that strategic overlay. Uh, but today, um, you know, many organizations are focusing on this as a core imperative in order to deliver um, you know, effectiveness when they try and push forward their always-on marketing uh, platforms. One other surprise as well is um, uh, the core focus. I think uh, in the past, and perhaps now, uh, you as marketeers, uh, the you know, central point of interactions has always been the campaign, let's say, or the communication. What we're seeing today within this space is that there's been a major shift. And that major shift has been a lot of organizations now are just focusing on the asset. So that, you know, the piece of marketing collateral. Forget about the campaign objective, whether you're looking to acquire, retain, uh, upsell, cross-sell. It's actually you know, the marketing asset, which is uh, core to the overall planning of the customer journey. And that has put in place a whole sort of uh, a change of mindset with many organizations. And that's probably the sole reason why organizations now are thinking that um, to have an overlay where you can actually plan and strategize your company-wide uh, communications is so important. So a big area, and as I say, this, this, this came as a, a bit of a surprise um, to us as companies deploy. Um, the other area is the real-time decisioning element. Um, when we talk about sort of marketing in, in the new world order, um, it's about capturing and harnessing people, data, and the key aspect here is in real time to empower more relevant experiences. Now, uh, as I said, real-time uh, decisioning technology has been around for a long time, but it's not so much the existence of real-time technology, it's its, it's significance within the always-on uh, uh, platform. What we're finding now that organisations who are um, deploying these platforms is that they've realised that it's that capability that is bringing together um, the offline and online worlds. I think there's uh, all too often a, a, um, a view that as organisations try to uh, engage offline and, and online data, more particularly online and offline channels, that uh, um, there's a, you know, it represents a huge integration project. It represents a huge sort of a, 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 um, um, internal uh, strategy that takes time, that takes a, a huge amount of effort. But uh, what real-time decisioning is, or the capability and technology is actually doing, is it's, it's actually representing the hub of the always-on uh, capability. Because uh, by virtue of the fact that it engages uh, um, your customer base in real time, it engages on the back of the current context, um, it's able to be able to uh, um, implement what I guess are traditionally um, you know, lights on marketing and take those uh, uh, messages and be able to automate the whole process and deliver those same concepts, those same strategies uh, when the lights are actually switched off. So uh, uh, real-time decisioning, no surprise, it is central to bringing uh, 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 together the online and offline worlds. Uh, but another thing that we're actually seeing is that um, real-time decisioning is, is, is proving important as well for, in the same context, for the purposes of marketing assets. 
Um, the buzz at the moment that we're seeing is, is uh, um, around the DMP space, so that the data management platform space, uh, with a special focus on um, um, ad serving. Um, a lot of organisations are uh, um, you know, engaging in, in, in ad serving, but the biggest difference between that and conventional um, interactions with your customers is that you're serving content that is owned by third parties. And uh, um, the desire is that you know, whilst you're making your real estate um, available to serve these ads, organisations are lacking the controlling influence um, to actually you know, determine what the context is and what the actual specific asset and content is that's being displayed essentially in their own homes. And uh, what, what we're finding now is that the use of real-time decision capability is being used for organisations to deliver that additional piece of influence. Um, and it's a very, very powerful solution that if you've got the ability or the tools to be able to um, personalise an experience and control that level of personalisation against assets that you don't even own. I mean, if, if you have that capability, that, that is, that is a, a powerful solution. And we're, we're finding that organisations now are bringing what they call their in-house, um, you know, uh, adverts, if you like, so traditional um, assets that uh, come from their own repositories that are positioned on the, uh, um, their own websites, that are positioned in um, you know, any collateral that goes off to uh, their customer base. The ability to have an influencing factor and combine it with uh, uh, third party ads is proven to be very, very powerful. So two areas, um, marketing resource management and uh, real time decisioning, um, big factors that we're finding that customers that are evolving and progressing their always on platforms, um, these areas are proving to be uh, one of the key differences and, 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 and the areas that they're really, really focusing the time and attention on um, as uh, uh, the technology set to evolve uh, their always on uh, principles. Any questions? So it's here to stay, I think. I think many organisations, as I say, uh, this, this represents their, uh, their, uh, their ambition. You know, it's, it's a great vision. Uh, we're happy to see many organisations uh, uh, take that vision into, you know, at least attempts to deliver a reality. Um, and I'll okay, just... More about yeah. Sorry, carry on. No, just, just, just to really finish up and, yeah. and, and, and to say that, um, that um, you know, the trends that we're seeing, and this is this, the trends we're seeing are essentially with prospects that we engage with, but more in terms of with our customer base. Uh, we're seeing, uh, uh, particularly in financial services and in retail, uh, these seem to be the sectors that are most advanced in, 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 in both of these areas. Um, but as trends go, all the other sectors, you know, telco will follow suite very, very quickly, um, travel and leisure, um, all of these uh, sectors will, will, will pick up the baton and uh, we'll probably find, so I think, you know, if trends are anything to go by, and if you've got an assemblance of an always-on platform in place already, and you're thinking now, how do we best evolve, then, you know, from our experience, and it is of, over the last year or so, um, marketing resource management and real-time decision are two areas that perhaps, you know, you might, you might want to focus your, your, your time and attention on. Thank you. Well, I've, I've, I've just got a quick question.